Hello traders, welcome to KineFX Academy YouTube channel. My name is Akio Lakin. So guys, um, let's um create this strategy together. You know, I have once dropped this strategy, you know, but I uh, can see the strategy as a very um accurate strategy and it is um still valid see now. So let's quickly add it to the chart. First of all, we need to add a moving average, and the moving average is going to work as a trend dictator for us that is the indicator the moving average is going to tell us um the market position so the moving average is going to be um period 35 exponential shift to zero so it's going to be um period 35 so just leave the settings like this let's click on done so you can see so it tells us when the market is in uptrend and downtrend so let's go back to the indicator window and let's ask um relative strength in this which is rsi this is it here so um you can leave the period we don't actually need this particular indicator all we need there is just the um some parameters there so um the only thing you are going to change in this indicator is just to change the color in front of this style to the background color of your shirt if you are using white background like me change it to white if you are using dark background um just leave it at black you understand click on done after you have done that then the last indicator is um relative figure index which is this you can see it here so it's just as relative stress index too they determine when the market is over but and no so you understand so just add this third indicator leave the settings like this period three so then click on done after that now go back to your chart you should be able to see this so how does these strategies work um you go to five minute time frame to dictate um what the market is doing so then you come back to one minute time frame for entry this strategy is very effective on both um, boom and crash market so go to mt5 what are you looking for in mt5 you check when the market um is in of so you know we are buying for crash we are selling for boom so when the market is over so um sorry uh yes when the market is over so already you know um we are going to buy so you come to this indicator window so you check where um there is a cross in between the fast and the slow EMA, which is the green and the red below 20 when you see the crossing below 20 you know that the market is going to actually buy then once you see that cross you go to one minute time frame let's quickly check this so the crossing happen below the um level 20 so let's go to one minute time frame to check that um cross you understand so once you see that cross there we know we mark the cross here you can see it here so what are you looking for in one minute time frame you look for when the market started buying and it broke the trend you see a too close candle above this particular trend line which is the moving average at five then you go for buy and cancel five candle and close you understand you know now this is invalid signal because um it doesn't the trend the market doesn't break the trend so we are not buying until we confirm to break so let's go back and look for another example so the m5 i think there's another cross in here let's see whether this gives us a signal on one minute time frame you, you are less concerned about this um moving average on five minute time frame so let's go back to one minute time frame again and see if we got a signal you can see here that um the market there's a close and two can do that close above the moving average you understand so once you enter for buy here you understand you can't survive can you can see that there is a sign for spike here but because the consideration has been met you understand so and is already in a bullish mode so the spike doesn't have enough strength to change the direction of the market so it's continued the journey of five candle complete in profit you understand so that is how these strategies work let's um find a successful uh, example on the um, five minute time frame you can see let's check here i think there's a crossing the cross has to be below there's a crossing here okay so now let's go to one minute time frame to check this okay 
we got the signal but if we don't um is an invalid because we don't uh, we do not see a too close candle above here you understand so which um um said that the signal is invalid you understand sometimes in the day um you may not get um enough signal but if you can be patient you know trading is about patience but it's not about trading every time. Once you see a strategy that can give you a fairly signal, you understand? So you don't have to be seeing it frequently. So far, you know that when the signal finally show, it's going to make you money. So you can use it for boom and uh, uh, boom 1000, boom 500. You know, when you are trading um, boom market, you know, you are going to sell. So you go to five minutes time frame. So you check the crossing, you know, I think we are getting a signal, you understand? But uh, the candle has not closed yet. So you can see there's a crossing here. There's a crossing here already. So you go just exactly like this, you go to one minute time frame. So you patiently wait till this market that is coming, break this moving average. Then you see two candles close below the moving average, then you enter for sale. Immediately you count your five candle analysis, but the signal is not yet complete, so um, we can't use that. So let's see this whether we get a fairly signal from here. So let's go to one minute. Sorry, this is one minute time frame. So let's go back to five minute time frame and see if we can get a signal there. So I think we find one here. So let's go to one minute time frame and see that if um that gives us a valid signal. You can see perfect one, guys. So the price after seeing the crossing of one minute time frame, the price crosses here is when you see more than five candles. That is how it works. Go to um your chart and back test, then demo trade um before you go into life account. So I wish you a